Hey everybody, so I want to talk about sheltering people <clears throat> because this is a concept, I don't know, concept's the right word, but whatever, I think you all know what I mean, but uh, like sheltering your children, <clears throat> and also this is in regards to just, you know, a lot of Christianity, like <clears throat> aspects of Christianity, Mormonism, Catholicism, all these types of religions that, um, you know, I haven't even gotten too deeply involved, but I've, I've been studying the Bible and stuff like this for, you know, a good, I don't know, five years or so. But anyway, my point being, um, it's like, this is an, another issue I have, you know, I don't know if it's an issue, but <clears throat> just something that I've experienced with my own family that I've noticed is not good. And that's to shy away from the darkness. It's, it's to not, not, not that I'm saying it's good to like get involved in it, but to be aware of it is, is extremely, um, I mean, if, <clears throat> How can you expect to solve any problems if you're not aware of everything that's going on with the problem? So, like, that that's a large issue I see with all these religions today is they're literally just essentially hiding. You know, you guys are just, like, taking care of yourselves and making sure that you and your family are secure and, and hiding away from this, this enemy. And it's like, you know, the word Yahushua, like, Jesus was did, did not say to do these type of things at all. Like, he was the dude who would fucking, like, you know, like, stand up to this beast system in every way possibly that he could. He was obedient. When it was time for him to do his thing, he did his thing, so we're told, but essentially, I mean, he's the guy who flipped over the fucking, you know, the tables, the tax tables, and, you know, he <clears throat> he did what he did because he knew it was right, you know, my point being, so it's like, if he was here right now, like, he would be doing everything he could to help out the children, to help out every issue that he saw, like, the worst the issue, the, that's where he's going to go first, you know, so it's like, it's just strange to be surrounded by so many people that claim, I mean, it's a claim. They, they claim to be associated with this particular, you know, information, this religion, this way of doing things. And yet, you know, their actions, you know, they don't really, <clears throat> it, they're not even speaking about like the things that need to be acted upon. Like that are, that he would most like the common sense would say like, yeah, any type of a really enlightened, you know, spiritual person is going to look at the children over there and the situations over there and the, the, the planets the, the animals and the planet and all these things that are being destroyed by human activities and be like what the fuck like this is wrong you know and he's going to seek out answers to figure out how to solve these things like that's just what you know without even the christianity like that's just what you do as a a human being an intellectual creature especially as a man you, you solve problems you go out there there's an issue you deal with it um, that's one way you protect and, you know, provide for your family and make sure that, you know, you got a safe home and all this and that. So it's like, it's just, uh, I can find it like uninspiring for me to continue on sometimes when I don't see very much of anybody. Like there's very little, like, I don't even know if there's one person other than, you know, St. Julian, you know, he does, I, I keep saying St. Julian, you know, he's the only one that inspires me to, you know, like, who's actually doing something about the issues of the day. And it's, he's one human being and there's billions of us here, you know, and I'm, I don't have the same type of like tangible actions that he has in this reality, but I'm at least speaking and presenting ideas and putting attention and effort into these very dire situations. And, you know, that it just, the fact that they're there is, should be enough for us to take care of them anyways. But, you know, beyond that, or in addition to that, I should say, it's like, these are the things that are absolutely key for us to be victorious. Like, if we don't learn how to solve these issues, and at least put energy and effort into solving these issues, then we collectively as a human species will have failed. Doesn't mean if you and your family are, you know, safe in a way, and all this and that, individually you guys might be okay, but... I, collectively what you have done the whole collective of humanity will have been a, it, it will, will have failed ultimately if we don't come together in some type of a unit unified way to deal with the most dire and fucking challenging problems of, uh, that are here resources are here the earth has tons of resources more than enough more than enough for everybody to have, fucking have what they want and and then some but we have to figure out a way to make that work without killing ourselves and the planet and the peoples and all these other fucking things and, you know, perpetuating these evil corporations. And I've already laid out a, a very good seedling to get this thing going because all the information is already here that we need. The hemp plant can solve tons of these things. It can produce a whole totally eco-friendly economy, which is going to perpetuate good businesses, which is going to perpetuate good policies and thus forth. So it's like... <clears throat> But people won't even speak about the hemp plant. 
hardly nobody really speaks about the, the dying children so it's like from my perspective it's like what's going on here like i'm continuing to do all this work and effort for a cause that you know doesn't even seem like it, it really means much to most people you know and it's like you know but at the same time i can't let myself get un i shouldn't uh, even though i do i shouldn't allow myself to be unmotivated because other human beings aren't doing this because at the end of the day like somebody's got to take care of the kids somebody's got to help out the animals somebody's got to help out this dying planet so it's like fuck it i'll just even just for them alone, I know I need to continue on, but at the same time, I'm going to vent and express when I feel bad about things and when I don't feel as inspired to continue on, I'm going to give you guys the reasons why. And it's not only me allowing some of this alleviation, you know, I'm hoping that this alleviates some of the, the frustration I feel, but I'm hoping that it also inspires you guys to do the similar thing, to like pick a problem and start solving it. Like that's what, that's the name of the game right now. That's what, that's where, that's the most meaningful place we can put our attention is solving these dire problems. It's not on relying on this governments to do it because we already know the majority of them are corrupt. So it's like relying on a faulty system to try to solve problems is just silly in itself. So it's like, that's what I see a lot of people doing is just pointing the fingers at the people that are supposed to be doing their problem or supposed to be solving these problems but we already know they're not going to do it so what's the point of pointing the fingers at the place that we know is not even being effective if you know something's not being effective stop using it either fix it and if you can't fix it then stop using it and find something else find a different way don't keep on trying to like fix something that won't be fixed like it's just silly like you know so it's like <clears throat> But I get tired of trying to tell all you guys what to do too, man. But at the same time, I feel like I have to at least continue speaking because until I see more people speaking in this type of a manner, it tells me that you guys still need help learning these lessons. Like, this is just a lesson that y'all need to learn. I have my lessons. You guys have yours. It is what it is. So, anyways, all right. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.